What's up, everybody? Uh, we're Cleopatric, and this is our craziest tour story. So it starts off on a, a cold, uh, dark, gloomy night. It was our first time ever uh, crossing the border to tour in the United States. Um, we're from Canada, so it's kind of a, a bit of a thing to get visas and, and go over and but so it was our first time and we were very nervous. We chose to cross the border in the middle of the night for some reason. Um, I think we thought it was easier or it, like we would be less likely to get in trouble or something. It made us feel more relaxed, but also we were just like dead tired and it was kind of silly. We were pulling up to the border and uh, it was kind of weird vibes because it was the middle of the night and there was a lot of construction, but there was uh, a car in front of us, which um, kind of made us feel good. We could follow their steps and, and it was literally just this one car. So we kind of felt lucky that we got to at least see one person interact with the border officer because this was our first time crossing the border without like parents or anything as uh, real adults. So yeah, we were lucky enough to, um, have this car to follow and, and we, we finally made it through all the construction, uh, to the borderline. All our anxiety was a little bit misplaced because, um, like we were doing everything completely legit. We, we really had nothing to be worried about. We had just heard that like a couple other musicians had like maybe had a hard time getting across and it being our first time, there was that natural uncertainty. Um, but uh, yeah, so like as we watched this car in front of us go through, uh, I had, I remember I had like a big stack of, of official visa papers in my hand uh, in like a little binder that we had organized with like an itinerary of shows we were playing and uh, a uh, manifest of like every piece of gear we had in the van and stuff quite literally the most prepared anyone's <laughs> ever been yeah like it was very legit um and we had nothing to worry about um and we ended up getting across the border fine that's not what the story is about the story is about what happened next which is that as we're, we're sitting there uh waiting for our turn and watching this car ahead of us um we see what seems to be a normal interaction between the border guard and the driver of that car um and then it starts to get a little hostile. The, the border officer seems to be getting um, kind of worked up and he's, he's telling the driver of this car to, to open the trunk. And, and we're both sitting there watching and thinking like, hey man, open the trunk. Uh, but he's not opening it. And we were getting uncomfortable and, and we watched the border officer walk to the back of the car um, where he's, he's, I think he started to yell like, Open the trunk. Like yeah, and he's weird his hand like this. Trunk. And we're sitting there like clenching our papers, like, what the fuck? And then uh yeah, the trunk the trunk finally pops open very slowly. Um and the border guard is like keeping his eye on the driver of this vehicle as the trunk opens up. And we were at the perfect angle where we could just see like as soon as the trunk began to open, we could see what was inside it. And it was a human being. And we realized that there was someone hiding in the trunk of this car. Um, and we realized that before the border officer even did. And then as the trunk came fully open and the officer realized what was up, he like, grabbed yeah. his gun yeah. and, and we were both dead silent, like with our mouths wide open yeah. watching this unfold. It was like we blinked and then suddenly <laughs> there were, I, I want to say 30 guards just like, sur it was like a SWAT team from a movie, man. Like they may as well have been coming from a helicopter. Like they were just <laughs> surrounding the area. They all had guns. Like they got the guy out of the front of the car, like pulled him out, pulled the girl out of the trunk. They like got the keys to the car. They like th one guy threw it to the other guy and he like grabbed it. They pulled the girl away, pulled the guy away. And suddenly they were gone. It was like, it was like out of a movie as if it <laughs> never happened. And like, we were just sitting there pretty much just like this, just like, I think, like, the only thing Luke was like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and then the, the same guard that had opened the trunk went back to his, like, little booth station and, and waved for us to pull up. It was, like, as if nothing happened. He just said to us, he was like, oh, can I grab your passports? And, like, what's the nature of your visit? And we didn't, like, <laughs> we didn't ask him about what just happened. We, we just handed him the passports. Yeah. We needed to go inside, um, inside, like, the actual border office to get some stamps on our on our visas and stuff um and when we went in there was like a long like kind of waiting period while they put our papers through and, and like we were sitting in these seats and behind us there was like a glass booth with this guy 
in it, like being interrogated yeah. behind us. And and there was also a glass, um, like a taxidermy uh, bald eagle, yeah. <laughs> remember, in a glass yeah, case. Yeah, that's weird. And that's our tour story. And we crossed the border and we played our first ever American tour with that experience. Craziest, pre, craziest pre-tour story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm.